I think cloud computing is delivering storage and compute and network as services. So rather than an organization feeling uh, the need to buy and uh, have all of its compute and storage and network assets locally inside its walls, um, you're uh, allowing that uh, location to be unbounded and you're procuring all of these uh, as services. NASA um, invests a lot of money in infrastructure. Uh, one of the things we're trying to do is become much more mission focused and also more efficiently use our infrastructure. So um, we looked around uh, at NASA and we found we had thousands of websites. Uh, we found that as scientists needed to compute or, or store data, they were buying uh, infrastructure and they were uh, putting the infrastructure in our facilities and uh, that was uh, burning a lot of power and uh, it was costing a lot of money to maintain and secure that infrastructure. Uh, we were finding a lot of the security uh, challenges uh, were stemming from uh, all these public websites and all this infrastructure. Um, so we, we started to look at um, how NASA's needs and how the, the science requirements um, could be met uh, if we were to create a shared service approach to uh, providing both compute and storage. Every three to six months we're seeing uh, new services emerge and each of these services um, could have a uh, aura of standards around it, um, especially as uh, we see services such as storage services and compute services emerge from multiple vendors. So issues of interoperability and portability are driving our standards conversations right now. Um, most of our um, efforts are to ensure that if we select a particular platform, we, we're not locked into that platform, and we have the flexibility to um, burst into some of the consumer-oriented commercial platforms. There's a lot of things possible. First, um, most of our investment uh, in the enterprise today is in uh, procuring and maintaining infrastructure. Uh, one of the things that's possible is we can shift that focus to uh, configuring software services and solving problems uh, that our stakeholders care about, whether they're our employees, whether they're the American public, uh, whether they're the people that we serve as an agency. And I think the, that is the, the primary fundamental shift that'll happen. Um, in the short term, uh, we're starting to find ways to take our data centers and consolidate them and virtualize uh, the, the systems that are in our data centers. Um, at, the pendulum will swing into the future towards software services, because as software services become more robust, more flexible, um, we'll find that we don't need to have as much custom software and, and systems that we locally host. And so as, as we start to move things out of, our, out of our walls and out into the cloud, um, it will free us to focus on business problems and not on operations of infrastructure.